Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Common Central back with another video and if you look at the PL we have absolutely tweaked today. Uh, I don't even know what I was doing, like Loki. I think I was just I was in the mix and I got lost in the source, like it shit was crazy. Um Yeah, I'm gonna break it down. Um not gonna be a long video, but I'm just gonna show you all the terrible trades I took. Um this is pretty much how it looks, minus 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 a few break evens. Um yeah, so subscribe, like, comment. Um, let's get into it. So weekly is still the same. Came down into this fair value gap. Daily came down into this fair value gap. Four hour um, closed above this fair value gap today, um, which tells me probably gonna push higher. Hourly, we had uh, non. Well, we had non-farm employment today, so that was at 2.30, which was over here. And and this was obviously like a manipulation move, this massive candle. I put the standard deviation over here, and price came perfectly into it. Unfortunately, I did manage to catch the short, because I like to trade after the open. So, um, you would have, sh I mean, one minute. Here's your pullback into high time frame PDRA um, didn't really get a crazy liquidity sweep but obviously we swept over here this high here but on the zooming in we didn't get a crazy sweep this would have been your sweep um, and then change in the state of delivery down here and you would have entered on this candle here uh, and then you would have played it all the way down to the standard deviation 2 to 2.5 targeting what liquidity this liquidity over here probably uh, I obviously didn't play that because I got on the charts at about 20 past. I could have caught this move here, actually. This little pullback. This little wick, maybe. I'm trying to see. Um, I didn't catch it, but if I was to catch it, I'm trying to see where I could have entered. I mean, oof, tough entry to be honest. Probably like enter over here somewhere on the break of this low market structure break, break this low into here and then play it down, and then and then we pushed up. Um, I I saw this price action here. This was just after open and I actually didn't. I don't think I took notes of the standard deviation to be honest at the time, but to me I just I was so focused on going lower that I might have tweaked out a bit very hard i think what was my reasoning was i think the four hour change in the state over here made me think we're going lower and i think that could be the case because we might come back to this fair value gap test it and then go lower but uh, my brain was just telling me short 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 and i don't know why like whatever um so i missed this move it didn't have enough for me to take it like i don't have any conviction with this uh, move it didn't look that clean it had like a inverse head and shoulders pattern i mean i'm going all the way down to the five second i took a lot of trips on the five second today i don't know um, but here we had liquidity sweep push up come back i mean super early entry over here and then obviously yeah, you push up change in the state come back enter on this candle and then you would have wrote it all the way up it was like a 20 hour riding up to this fair value gap over here um so first place i looked for a short was over here uh, it was actually quite decent to be honest i just think for me i just think my manipulation isn't that clear like like i'm struggling to find them like the clear and obvious manipulations i think maybe but it was actually not the worst entry um we came down i entered on this candle here we pushed up and then we came back down and then I put my stops at break even once we didn't break this low. So I think this was the break even one. And then I was like, okay, this is the manipulation leg. Um, so I entered on this candles here to target down. And I think I put my stops at break even again. Um, and then we pushed up like this. And I was like, okay, this is the mani ma manipulation leg. We took all this liquidity. This has got to be it. I shorted came down i never took any profits on any of these trades which is crazy we came down to this fair value gap i entered again on this wick perfect entry break even again um this one i got stopped out immediately i don't know i don't even know what this trade is like 
Um, and I think it was just mostly the five minutes today. Um, cause... Yeah, I don't even know, bro. Like, I think I need to do that rule where it's like, after you lose two trades in a row, chalk it up. So yeah, um... Was it this one? That I entered. No, it was this one. I don't even know what this is, bro. Okay, well, here's the fair value gap over here. And then I entered and immediately got stopped out. That's where I lost a lot. And then here, I entered as well. I mean, for the most part, price came down after my entry. Like, I think I'm just too greedy with my stops or my partials. This one again, entered, fair value gap, went down. I should have taken TP here, but I fear I've tweaked yet again. I just feel like I need to take two contracts so I can just have a partial. I think I just need to scalp it because like... Well, that's like a two. Like, I don't know what I'm doing here. So that was another one. And then this one as well. I was like, okay. This is the manipulation leg. And it still wasn't, yo. I was losing so much composure. This is the last trade. And I was like, this, this ass. I was like so confident. I had so much conviction. I was like... This has got to be it, bro. Look at these massive candles coming down. Taking out this. I was like, bro, pull back. Here we go, baby. Send it. <laughs> Stop that again. And then I hopped off the charts. I even took another one in ES. I didn't want to talk about that. That was another tweet trade. And then I hopped off. So, I mean, to be honest, most of the trades went in my favor. And I stopped them out of break even. But I, I just over leveraged a few. And I didn't take, like, any profits on any of them. Um... And then I also traded ES um, minis instead of micros, and I lost a shit ton on one contract, bro. So that was another tweak. I think I was just, yeah, after I lost the first two, I should have just logged off. And I think I'm gonna do that from now on. After I lose the first two, I need to log off. And then I need to, like, be able to change my bias quicker, bro. Because holy, I was trying to, I think I was focused on yesterday where price did, like, a, a double back. Like, it went down, it did, like, this. I was trying to catch this, so yesterday we came down and we pushed up again and we came back down, it was something like that and I was trying to catch the same thing, it was this here so yesterday we came down pushed up, came down again and I was trying to catch today came down, pushed up, down again and I was trying to catch this move but it just wasn't working and if I look back now I should have only caught it in this PD array I should have looked for one Okay, and then in this one, like, that's the only time, because, um, yeah, I'm just going to journal that down, it's, um, still learning, obviously, but I just want to quickly check here, I think this was a 4 hour fair value gap, yeah, 4 hour fair value gap over here, which held quite well, broke, um, inverse, um, so, like, that's where I can look, like, I think I was just zooming in way too much, looking at, like, irrelevant PD arrays, like here I should have looked for a short and here I should look for a short. That should have been the only two, to be honest. But I was zooming in like crazy, drawing so many fair value gaps. Like I was I think I was just like trying to predict the market instead of just showing what it's giving me. Like you know, like this would have been so clean and I thought no, I need to hop off because if I take another trade I'm gonna blow my account. And I'm two hundred dollars away from doing that, so and I think I came in a bit confident from yesterday. Um, so yeah, a near call today, a near miss. Um, definitely got a few things that I can learn from today. It was a much needed uh, learning session and then hopefully tomorrow I can capitalize. Um, tomorrow's news is CPI for Swiss and then unemployment. So it's a little bit of volatility. So maybe we can trade this 4 p.m. manipulation on the PMIs. So yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Um, like, subscribe, comment, let me know um, if you're also trading the market. If any of you guys have any problems as well today get, getting chopped around. Um, I saw a TGR trades made like 40k today. I was like, wow. And maybe even more cross because he kind of trades similar to what I trade. So that's it for the video. See you guys tomorrow with the next trades. And um, yeah, enjoy it.